my name is Jo and in this video we will have a quick look at the difference between traditional or pre-existing DLT as compared to Redix. Now let's take the classic example of booking a flight, a hotel and a rental car. Now we want if any of these cannot be booked the whole deal should be cancelled because I don't want to have a hotel but no flight to reach my holiday location. That wouldn't make sense. The other DLTs are dealing with this case in a sequential or block processing where all the transactions are completing one block after the other. All this is happening just fine until one of the processes or request fails. If one fails, all the previous successful operations should be rolled back. That means even when the buyer receives some confirmation, there was no surety that your transaction will finally go through. Radix, on the other hand, is designed to deliver true finality, meaning once a transaction is final, it is final. No waiting for several blocks and wondering if your transaction has gone through. More importantly, no rollback of dependent transactions. Radix protocol is built around a highly sharded data structure, enabling unprecedented levels of scale for a distributed ledger. In the future, this means Radix will allow DeFi applications on different systems and ecosystems to work simultaneously without stalling other applications. This is just one way of how Radix will redefine the future of DeFi. To know more, visit radixdlt.com and stay connected to my channel for further quick and insightful information about Radix. Thank you for watching this one. Ciao till next time.